This is the call that I wanted to share with you guys by Leonard uh, Ravenhill. I heard he was a good preacher. It is better for you to have one sleepless night on earth than millions of them in hell. You know, brothers and sisters, I mean, I don't think everybody's called to, like, pray in the, in the middle of the night. Like, I believe the Lord is calling me to pray in the middle of the night, and I just haven't been, like, well, I do. Like, here's the thing. There's times I watch YouTube videos, like street preaching or sermons, and then I go back to prayer whenever I can sleep. But this time, brothers, again, I slept from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. I also believe, you know, I'm like this because of the insomnia, you know, like, I'm mostly home, you know, um... I, I understand, you know, my family's trying to, like, to, um, protect me, you know, from this disease. You know, it's only, like, 90% survival rate. But, you know, um... Sleepless night. Yeah, and I was meditating on this one this morning, though, because I pray for the lost souls, you know. Um... Like, you know, sinners, when they preach the gospel, they get annoyed. You know, like, just imagine, you know, like, in hell. Let me tell you something, um, for you, dear sinner. You know, you could complain to me all you want. You could be like, oh, you know, um, Brian, you're not letting me sleep and this and that. Okay. But, in hell, you're not going to sleep at all. Because there's a place of weeping, waiting, and acting of teeth. So, uh, I want to do this mini-sermon. Oh, thank you, Father. <sighs> you know, like... I I feel connected with God, though. But, like... Do you guys really believe I should start getting into my physical Bible? Because I haven't read it, like, in three days. Today's, like, day four. But I'm not going to let this happen. I think this is why another reason why the Lord woke me up. Because I think He wants to talk to me. And I just haven't been... You know, I just like, well, I don't want to say lazy, though, because I love God, obviously. And I want to be obedient to His Word, because I mostly hear it on my phone, though, but I believe I need to balance, you know. What do you guys think? So, this video is going to call Tuesday Morning Chat Part 2, because I, I, I cut Part 1, because I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, um, you know, if you up in the middle of the night and the Lord wakes you up, sorry, I'm just getting distracted. That's why you know it's hard for me to sleep in the daytime because I get very ah stupid. Here, I'm coming back. Let me get my Bible. Sense why? Um, well, in this video, I'm asking for prayers, but you know, I wasn't even prepared like the Lord. Thank you, Father. Um, you guys don't know the Lord did um get to me with tongues. Don't think that I am um um I I think I had the gift. You know, like I've been like practicing it and try to develop it for by some time. I received it in the dream. I I received like the you know. There's times I get doubts though, so please please pray for me because you know I don't want to like. I've been like condemning myself also, so um. For you guys who think that hell's fun, party's over, sinners. You guys are gonna think I'm a second Kerrigan scary, nah. I preach, I get this brother statics of preaching, but you know, you know, um, Matthew chapter 13. Here, let me change the, the, the title of the video here on Instagram. It's gonna call, oh, ah, stupid. 
Sorry, no, I'm calling myself. Uh, I'm calling my phone stupid because my phone does a lot of mistakes. Um, sleep less nights on earth. The Lord brought me to this coat. That maybe this is why I couldn't sleep. It is better to have a to have a sleepless night a, on earth than in hell. And this is the message for sinners, though, because you know in hell there's oh no. You guys know that um, I'm paying a, a, a certain price for rejecting. Well, I don't know if you, you consider uh, Some people say that I'm not being persecuted. I'm just exaggerating, but it's fine. I mean, distracted you know you know in Matthew chapter 13 I don't know why the Lord brought me here the Lord brought me to Matthew chapter 13 verses 41 through 43 and I preached this verse on my outreach Oh, really? Are you a brother or are you a sister? Somebody told me. I recently read that. Oh, okay. No wonder you're here. Yeah, I think the Lord wants me to... Oh, you're a female. Never mind. If, is it funny if I mention your name here? If not, it's my sister. I won't mention your name because I'm going to upload this on YouTube. Matthew chapter 13, verses 41 to 43. It says here, The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. And... They shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who have an ear to hear, let him hear. I did not want, I wasn't even planning to talk about hell. But again, I I, I, I I woke up at 1 in the morning and I prayed. And then the Lord spoke to my heart. So I was, I was watching some videos and I was, calling, I was on Instagram like almost, like constantly. Like, um, I put down some music from my church. But, you know, brothers and sisters, you know, um, I also believe, you know, the reason why the Lord is allowing me to stay here with my parents for a while. I think it's a, it's a seasonal thing. Like, I, sometimes I feel it's permanent, but oftentimes I even feel that um, the Lord is, like, holding something against me. You guys know I'm 28 years old. You know, I'm living currently with my, well, I've been living here in this house for 10 years, though, because, um, you know, my living situation, you know, um. My family, basically, they don't think I could take care of myself, right? But, like, other brothers told me, no, brother, Brian, don't give up. You know, one day your mom's going to send your conservatorship and you're going to be free. I'm free in Jesus Christ, though. So, I just wanted to touch base on that. And, um, this morning, let me show you guys if I have this image. You know, give me a second. Because uh, my phone maybe deletes a lot of images, so... Oh, shoot. Ah! Yeah, I deleted my, um, my, the, 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 the photo. Ah, anyways, here, let me, let me go back to the coat. Oh, this is an article that, that I'm gonna put on Instagram for a few minutes. And I just have a burden for the lost souls, you know. He goes... I preach on hell because I am not going there and I don't want you to go there. So this is why I preach on hell to like all everybody. You know, like I'm a hellfire and brimstone preacher. I'm a grace preacher. 
And I'm also, you know, a judgment preacher. I also preach to people not to get the mark of the beast. I am also want to get a banner that says, say no to the 666. Another verse that the Lord um, has uh, put in my heart. It's in Matthew 7, but I'm going to take you guys to uh, Luke chapter 13. And I read this over and over. Notice that the number 13 is symbolic. I don't know if it's symbolic, but like... Uh, um, I'm going back to Matthew. Here, I'm going to go to Luke 13 and then Matthew 13. Just follow me along. This is a mini sermon, and again, I wasn't planning to. I was just let to go live. Like um, I'm like, okay, Father... I'll do whatever you command me to in my heart. So, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't want you guys to think I'm a low life or I don't have nothing better to do with my life. That's why I don't like doing live streams in the morning. And I wasn't planning to come on live, to be honest. I wasn't planning to. I don't know if anybody in here has been dealing with sin. So this morning... I want to go drop off my sister. And you guys know I handle gospel tracks, correct? I see a lot of gospel tracks being thrown in the trash. I see people ripping them. And treating like garbage. I'm like, shame on you wicked sinners. And that's why oftentimes I give sinners a hard rebuke. But that's how I calm myself down. Because, um, you know, I don't want to get it. I don't, the Bible tells us uh, to be angry and sing not. And sin, sing stupid. Sin not. I call myself stupid, okay? Uh, I just stutter too much. I'm just too tired, though. But, hey. Just whatever, you know? Bear with me, brothers and sisters. Uh, the Bible in Matthew chapter 13, uh, 7, 13, 14 says, Enter ye in the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And there be many which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And, and few there be that find it. So in this mini sermon, I'm talking to you guys that um, only a why why are a few people gonna make it to heaven? Okay, let's go to Luke chapter 13. If you guys have your Bibles, here, um, you guys could like here. I'm gonna type it here on my Instagram, Matthew 13:41. If you guys have your Bibles, you guys could follow along. Here. Ah, I'm doing a mistake again. That's why I'm, I'm doing this. There. I pinned it so you guys could follow along. If you if you want to follow along, that's fine. If you don't want to, you could just take notes if you want. It's up to you, brothers and sisters. I don't know if you guys are, 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 are busy or available, but... Yeah, I mean, I this is how much... I'm not like, trying to brag about you. I be about myself, but this is how much I love people. I spend sleepless nights. Sometimes the Lord wakes me up to pray for the lost souls. Plus, I needed to go drop off my children to school. That's why, like, I didn't go back to sleep. I could have gone to sleep if I wanted to, but... Um, you know. Anyways, let's go to Luke. Chapter 13. And verse 13. Wow, 13, 13, 13. I heard the beast system likes the word 13. It's a scary number. Look, chapter 13, verse 22 to 30 says, And when he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem, then said one unto him, Lord, although are there few that be saved? And he, Jesus Christ, said unto them, Strive. Which I believe you know it's um um strive uh uh, uh it means like to keep pushing, continue, like um Jesus said the word strive and this is another verse you could use against one saved, always saved. Strive to enter in the straight gates, for many I say unto you will seek to enter in and shall not be able. So this is a verse that debunks one saved always saved the doctrine the diabolical doctrine of one saved always saved also known as osas 
as for short, OSAS, O-S-A-S. You know, there's many bird ch scriptures, you know, that debunks the doctrine. Once they always say, then there's any, uh, once they always say believers here, it, please be respectful. And if you're not respectful, I'm going to kick you out of my, out of my channel and I'm going to kick you out of my live stream. So, um, you're warned. Strive, uh, the Greek word is agonist. Uh, uh, I forgot. Oh my goodness. I don't know too much Greek. I'm sorry. You know, um, let me continue. When once the master of the house is rising up and have shut the door, and you begin to stand without and knock at the door and saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not, whence ye are. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou shalt have stopped in our street. But he shall say, I tell you, uh, I know. You now whence ye are, depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When ye shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out, and they shall come from the east and from the west, and from the north and the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. So, um, this is like the, um, I know sometimes we get tired, we like, oh, we can't sleep, and I, I'm been tired physically, you know. Like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go pick up my sister from school because I'm very tired, a little bit. I drank some coffee, so I probably won't go to sleep till, like, noon. I might take, like, a mini nap. But, um, yes, brothers and sisters, strive. If somebody knows what the Greek word for strive, it starts with the A. I, I, I forgot. I should have took notes the other time, but my dumb head doesn't allow me. Forgive me, brothers. And yes, that's what I preach about hellfire because I don't want you to end up there, brothers and sisters. You know, don't think that because um you're a Christian, you're not going to end up there. Of course you are. You know, if you don't strive, you know, if you don't press, you are going to go to the broad path. And the people that you pass out gospel tracts to, those who go preach the gospel, you know, they do this to you. They are blah, 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 blah. Or they do this to you. Or they rip the gospel tracks and throw it in the garbage. They're in the broad path. And they're not striving to enter into the straight gate. And I say to you, Jesus, this, many will seek to enter. Another subject I've been wanting to talk about is the biblical Jesus. Versus the unbiblical Jesus. Uh, how, I'm talking about this right now. The, you know, the, the Jesus of the world, the worldly Jesus, says that everyone's going to make it in. The, the fake Jesus says um, that, um, that everyone's going to make it in. Pedophiles, homosexuals, lesbians, pot smokers, fornicators, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Catholics, Muslims, uh, Judaisms, um, Sikhs, Hindus, um, uh, Bible mockers are gonna make it in. Like everyone's gonna make it in according to the to the fake Jesus. But the Jesus of the Bible said that you must be born again, or you cannot see the kingdom of God. The Jesus of the Bible says repent or perish. The Jesus of the Bible says repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Jesus of the Bible says that many are headed to destruction, and a few to heaven. When I go out, when I go to the outreaches out in the streets, I preach Matthew seven thirteen and. Through 14 very often because a, a lot of people are deceived you know so many people think oh yeah i'm gonna make it in because i'm a good i'm a good person i'm gonna make it into heaven no you know um i'm sorry but you know if you worship mary it's so fire for you brother sister it's so fire you must be born again if you have pride if you're angry if you have bitterness if, if you show bitterness towards others it's so fire for you so um, if, when you ever you have, it's better to have one sleepless night here on earth than to have many in hell. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been, I, there's been times that I've been going street preaching, even if I, I've been, that you know that one time, brother Alex and I, brother Alex slept like five hours, I slept three, I slept at five thirty, and I woke up at eight thirty just to go preach the gospel at the gas station. I'm, I'm not trying to boast, okay, guys. 
um, maybe you know, should I, uh, should I, I shouldn't be speaking too much about it all. Because see, you know, I don't want you guys to glorify me. But of course, it's the Holy Spirit, you know, who does it through me, you know. Because of course, I can do it by myself, you know. Yes, it may be. See you later, brother Alex. See you at eight thirty. Eight thirty passes, and I'm over there. That's my flesh. The flesh wants to be like this. That's the flesh. But the Holy Spirit through you tells you, get up and go. Rise up. Go preach the gospel. Because you know for I know for you know what the Lord has told me? That in heaven, that's gonna be my permanent vacation. Heaven's gonna be my permanent vacation. If you're a believer, brother and sister, heaven's gonna be your permanent vacation. So um that's all I wanted to say. This is a mini sermon. I mean, I could have done it long though, but like, I guess I only I only had it like a few minutes though. Like I wasn't I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna read my Bible with you guys, but maybe it was just a reminder that God hasn't forsaken me. Well, His word said so. I know the devil tries to attack me, and um, uh, there's just a lot of going on right now, brothers and sisters. So continue to pray for me. Continue to pray for me because like. Um, there's times I get sleepless night, I sleep two hours, three hours, four hours, and I'm not supposed to sleep eight, and, uh, I also pray and hope my, my, my immune system doesn't get weaker, because when it does, I get sick very often, I have a strong one right now, though, because I've been, um, eating healthy, so, uh, God bless you guys, and, um, I hope everybody has a good day, I don't know if I'm gonna be live later on or tomorrow, but, or some other day, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, brothers and sisters, God bless.